Welcome back. We're here with Miss Carrington True, and some of you may know her. She lives in Trimble County, Kentucky, and you've got some amazing things happening. What is going on with you right now? This Saturday, I will be moving into the Brown Theater in Louisville, Kentucky, and compete for Miss Kentucky. And by move in, let everybody know what you mean by move in. It's not just, she's not going to be just there for one day. She's going to actually yes. reside there. <laughs> we will be there from June 1st through the 9th. And they're going to take our phones and we're going to be cut off from the rest of the world. <laughs> and we are going to be competing for Miss Kentucky all day, every day. We have service events in the morning and then we have our competition at night. Oh my goodness. Now, is this going to be where anybody can watch it? Is there a way they can actually access and be able to see what's going on. Yes, so there are a few events that are actually open to the public. We have a meet and greet this Sunday at 4th Street Live where you can meet all of the Miss Kentucky contestants and Miss Kentucky's Outstanding Teen contestants. And then we have a quality of life luncheon on Thursday and then the pageant runs Wednesday through Saturday and you can purchase tickets or there's an online streaming service that you can purchase and watch from the comfort of your own home. <laughs> oh wow. Now how long have you been preparing for this? I won my prelim and got my ticket to Miss Kentucky last November and we immediately, you know, boots to the ground, started working as soon as I had won and we're ready to go and we've been working at least once a week with my director ever since. Oh, Karen, I know you put a lot into this. What would you tell somebody if they're thinking about doing pageants or mm -hmm. entering this type of thing, what would you tell them? What would be the most important thing you think they should yeah, the advice that I would give is to step out of your comfort zone. Your first pageant is always very daunting because you're standing on a stage and 50 plus people are staring at you, but it's one of those things that you make lifelong memories and the people yes. that you're surrounded with become your lifelong friends and it truly is a sisterhood and there are so many skills that you gain through pageantry that you can't gain anywhere else you know you are meeting people and you're networking doing interview skills right. you know talent especially in the miss america organization and that's just things that you can't pick up anywhere else and i think a lot of people don't realize that with miss any pageant mm -hmm. you become you got to be poised, you have to be confident, you have to be able to articulate what you're doing mm -hmm. so there's a lot of things you have to learn it's not just walking. Yes. And some people think that that's you, you put on a dress and you walk. Well, no, there's a lot more to it. So. Yeah, there definitely is a lot more to it and each area of competition is scored differently. So some are weighted heavier than others and really just they're looking for that well-rounded girl that, you know, can walk into an elementary school and captivate kindergartners all the way to high school students as well as be a role model for, you know, the youth of Kentucky and be that ambassador for the the Kentucky Department of Agriculture and Kentucky Proud and to find that person, you know, it's it's not easy, but everyone that's competing is, you know, the cream of the crop in Kentucky. You know, we have people who are in law school and people who are so empowered and intelligent. So it's, it's going to be a really tough competition. How many people are actually entered this year in this competition? Yeah, so there are 33 Miss in 20 teen, and we will all be, obviously we'll be competing separately right. uh, for both titles, but we will be spending the week together. Oh, that's great for the kids then. The, the teens actually have you all for mentors. Yeah. So we're yeah. so excited. So I have a sister queen who is a teen. So we've all been rooting for her throughout the year. And it's been so good to, you know, have a little sister as well as a sister your own age. That is, it's fun for you, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> well, now with all of this, you actually have a job that you do. And mm -hmm. what, what is your job? So I'm the director of operations for the UK women's soccer team. I am the only and first undergraduate at UK and in the SEC to have this type of job. It's typically held by graduate students or I call them real people, people who are out of school and this is their full-time job. So I'm really just in charge of everything that puts an athlete on the field other than knowing how to play. Oh, and that's that's big. You've got a list and you got a checklist and then, oh, <laughs> yeah, you have a big job. Yep, as soon as I get done here, I actually have to kind of remote in and get some work done today, but my coaches are freaking out a little bit because I'm going to be cut off from the rest of the world for nine days, so I'm sure I'll have a bunch of messages and emails waiting for me. Oh, but you've, you've trained them well enough they can handle it while you're gone. Absolutely. I think so. they may actually come. I've kind of talked them into it a little bit we have a bet going <laughs> that would be great because the more people you have there the comfort zone is better if you mm -hmm. have people you know that are there yes my mom has gotten um, team Carrington as she refers to them they've all got matching t-shirts so I won't be able to miss them <laughs> no you, no your mom will make sure they're all in a little group and you'll Absolutely. see who <laughs>
<laughs> now, how long have you actually been doing pageants? You know, this, this didn't just start last year. This has been ongoing. Yeah, my very first pageant, I was eight years old, and I kind of did one or two every single year. Uh, the regatta pageant and the regatta system really was kind of my main staple, and then right. Uh, last year, I competed in county fair in Kentucky, and I aged out. And then my um, coach was like, let's try the Miss America system. So I did two prelims, and I was very, very fortunate to win at my second prelim. And here I am going to Miss Kentucky. Oh, I think this is going to be great. How does your dad How does your dad deal with all this? My dad would be very disappointed that I'm admitting this, but he is a fantastic pageant dad. If I need anything, he is there. He gets so mad when my mom and I will go dress shopping without him. Like, he constantly wants to know what's going on, and he's not afraid to, you know, whip out some really tough interview questions whenever we're in the car. So my parents have been really, really supportive, but I'm really thankful for them. Well, that's really helpful, though, and your dad's... He's very logical. Oh, so, yeah. you know, <laughs> when he does that, I mean, your mom's wonderful and she's mm -hmm. she's very supportive also. But your dad goes on the other side. It's kind of like he he gives you the the rough side of everything. Yeah, my so you're mom, ready yeah. for it. My mom doesn't follow politics as closely as my dad and I do and my dad, you know, in our conversation knows what I've not been studying and so he's not afraid to put pressure on my weak points and really kind of make it tough. So, it's been really good interview prep. I think so. And it encourages you to go ahead and do some more investigation on your side of it so that yep. you are ready for those interviews. Mm -hmm. Our interview is 10 minutes long and there is nothing off the table. They can ask us absolutely anything from abortion to the death penalty to how we want to impact the state of Kentucky so you just really don't know what they're going to throw your way. Oh my goodness. Well, I think this is just wonderful that you're able to be here today. Is there anything you, you would like to tell young ladies before we go? Is there anything? Yeah, absolutely. We didn't really get to touch on my platform very much. That is such a big part of the Miss America system. My platform is Supporting Heroes, which is a nonprofit based in Louisville that covers all first excuse me, first responder line of duty deaths in the state of Kentucky, Indiana, and Missouri. Right. Whenever a first responder dies in the line of duty, they show up and present a check to cover any financial need and are just really there for that family and also create a survivor network. And it's something that I've been very humbled to see. You know, a lot of people know that my family comes from a long line of police officers and firefighters and right. EMTs, so it's something that really hits home. But I think one of the best advice that I can give to young girls, especially girls who are in the system, find that community service or that project that you're so passionate about and let that be your motivation and your driving force. And you know, you're not using your title just to win Miss Kentucky. And you know, that's not really why we're here. That would be absolutely fantastic and that's everyone's ultimate goal. But we're here to make an impact on our state and we're here to make an impact on our community and change people's lives in the best ways that we can. And so, you know, starting from there and moving on and, you know, making sure that you're there for the right reasons and being a servant leader in your community is the most important thing. I think that's great. Uh, it, they need to understand that it's not just a crown. It's it's actually a job. It's Absolutely. a responsibility to help those in the community. So you're going to be great. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, thank you again for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you. You all try to check this out. If you can go online, you can watch it there or you can actually go down. So you're going to have to watch at the end of this video and we'll make sure you have some contact information there. And as always, we thank you for watching.